Good morning guys, it is Arika Misha and it is a Sunday morning and I am in the kitchen cooking breakfast for the girls. Um, just wanted to do a little quick video. Like I said, it's funny how I didn't want to start this off as a cooking channel, but um, I'm always in the kitchen, I'm always cooking, I'm always, you know, so I've decided, I said, you know what, just go ahead and do it, you're always in the kitchen anyway and you know, you never know who you might be able to help or, you know, influence. Like people on YouTube influence me to do things in my life. But hey, I just want to do my part. I just want to help out. And um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and you guys will get a lot of cooking videos because I'm always in the kitchen cooking something uh, for me and the girls. So like I said, it is Sunday morning um, and I am cooking for breakfast this morning. I went to Publix. If you saw in my Publix haul, which I'm sure you did, make sure you go watch that. I went to Publix and I got some croissants. Some of their uh, fresh bakery croissants. And I got these two croissants. Actually, I got two packs of them. And as you can see, let me turn this around. Uh, the price, $2.87 for these two large croissants. Fresh croissants, guys. The best. So, I got two of the, I got four of those. Um, I have some fully cooked maple bacon. Already cooked. You're just pretty much heating it up. That's all you're doing. And I have some Smithfield ham steak. Smithfield ham steak, guys. I'm gonna slice that up and fry that up. And we've got our Publix eggs, of course. Our Publix large eggs. And we've got some mild cheddar shredded cheese. So we're gonna have, I'm gonna um, get the bacon, heat it up, I'm gonna fry the ham, cut that into portions and fry that up. Uh, scramble some eggs and we're gonna have some you know fresh breakfast croissants I let the girls build their own sandwiches um, bacon ham egg cheese whatever they want to put on it I'm gonna go ahead and let them fix them after I get everything cooked I'll let them fix their sandwiches and then I'm gonna throw them in the air fryer I'll show you guys all of this I'm gonna throw them in the air fryer so it kind of gives them a little toast you know just a little toast it's a croissant I still want the croissant to be soft so just a little maybe two minutes in the air fryer just to give it a little you know a little toast but i still want my croissant to be soft so that is what's for breakfast this morning guys and i am taking you guys along all right guys i will be back okay guys i am back and i have the pre-cooked bacon in the air fryer as you can see i got it all nicely lined up and shouts out to my oldest daughter. Uh, she got me a tripod, uh, one of the tall ones, you know, the tall ones that you know you can use to move move things around. And uh, this tripod comes on wheels, so I can just slide this bad boy all around. So I'm so excited. Shouts out to my oldest daughter, Shania. Thank you so much. I thank God for her every day, every day, um, for all my girls. But you know what I mean. Um, so just want to give a shout out to her. Thank you so much, Shania, for giving me this. I really needed it. Um, definitely gonna help my channel out especially with me recording and especially when I'm in the kitchen so just want to give a shout out to her thank you honey bun thank you so much so y'all see y'all spinning around and sliding around y'all know why <laughs> your girl got a portable tripod so anyway moving on so I've got the pre-cooked bacon in the air fryer now of course it's already cooked so I'm not gonna be putting this in there for a long time let's see I'm going to set the time to I'm gonna leave it at 360. You pull y'all back so y'all can see. All right, let me lift you up here. Okay, 360, but I'm gonna put it on. Uh, yeah, it's already cooked, so let's just put it on three minutes. Just want to warm it up. So, all right, shouldn't take long for that. Let me spin y'all around. Let's get ready. Get ready to get our food cooked here. I've got the frying pan ready here for the the ham. I'm gonna fry the ham in that pan. And I love how you guys can see better. So much better with this tripod. Okay, and this one, let me get this one on. This is gonna be for our eggs. So you guys can see right into the pan. That's what I'm talking about. So you see I've got my eggs right there already scrambled um you guys have seen hopefully by now you've seen my cooking videos um my breakfast videos but i've scrambled eggs a million times so you guys can see i've just put a little milk a little salt in my eggs and that's it remember i got kids i'm cooking for my family 
um, and I have the ham over here already cut already cut you know and sliced and separated so I've got that ready to go ahead and cook so it looks like everything is ready because see it don't take my stove long at all to get hot so let me get some ham in here Let's get that ham in there so we can get that fried up try to see if I can fit it all in here get my fan on I'm gonna try to see if I can fit all the ham in there should be able to squeeze it all in there let's see squeeze all my ham in here yep I sure can squeeze it all in there all right got my ham in there looking good let's get those eggs in there all those eggs in there get those all nice and cooked up okay. got everything going got our bacon in the air fryer that's only gonna take two or three minutes not gonna take long at all you get my okay I got my let me get my fork for to flip my ham and y'all know I don't use, I use my plastic fork when I'm dealing with my Gotham. My Gotham cook, cooking here. Just gonna let that ham cook. And our three minutes is up already on our air fryer. So. I love this tripod. Look how easy that is. And you guys can see everything. We're going to let that ham just fry itself up. And I'm scrambling these eggs over here. Remember what your eggs, you just take your spatula and I just move them around. I don't, I don't scramble them. I just move them around like this with the spatula. And that milk that I put in them is going to help them be nice and fluffy. So, let those get a cook a little more. Our ham is going. Let okay. me spin you guys around real quick so you guys can see this bacon I'm taking out of the air fryer. Look at that. We put that on three minutes. Look at that. Already done three minutes in the air fryer I mean it's pre-cooked bacon it's not like we had to you know we were cooking raw bacon so three minutes and our pre-cooked bacon is done guys quick and easy all right got our ham and the eggs going here get the eggs scrambled a little bit here see how I'm doing those eggs it's almost a big omelet but you just just take my spatula and so you guys can see the eggs too. Just taking my spatula and not scrambling them. Just kind of flipping them over. And we all know it takes two or three minutes to cook eggs. I mean, scrambled eggs. I mean, it don't take that long. So. And I usually cook my eggs on a low, medium heat. I don't put my eggs on a high heat. I don't do that. Don't want to rush your eggs. It don't take long to cook eggs anyway. It doesn't take long to scramble eggs, so. I put it on a low low medium heat which you guys are seeing out there yeah you guys see it's gonna be time to flip that ham over in a minute so our eggs are almost done so now I just let the eggs sit 
in the pan so they can get brown on that side. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Let's get our ham flipped over. Flip that ham right on over. It'll start to brown. It's a thick ham, so give it time. I sprayed the bottom of my pan with oil already. And of course, ham produces its own juice. As you guys can see, it produces its own juice. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that out. rid of all that extra juice I'll get my stove off for my eggs and you guys can see when I flip these over see how it does that see how they get nice and brown flip them right over get nice and brown for you Because remember, we're going to put these on a croissant, so you want to kind of keep them, you know, big. So I've got my stove off. Now the other side of my eggs will get brown. Take you guys over to those eggs. Look at those nice golden brown eggs. Yep, I've got my um, stove off, so that other side will nicely brown. And let's get back over here to the ham. Get you guys in on that ham. I drained some of the juice out. So that's what you want. And let me see. I'm gonna spray a little cooking oil on it. It's gonna help fry it up. I don't add any salt or anything, any seasons to this ham. I mean, we all know ham is salty all by itself. So there's nothing you need to be, I have nothing I add to it. I don't add anything to my ham. This ham is already salty, so I don't add anything. You guys will see it will start to brown soon. And I've got the stove on a low medium heat. Low medium heat, nothing high. Let me see if my eggs are brown on that other side. Yep, they are. We will take them off the stove, take that away from the heat. Move our eggs off the heat. They are done and brown on the other side. And let's see our ham. Our ham is sounding like it, it wants to do something. And as you can see, it's browning on that other side. So let's get it flipped. Yeah. Doesn't take this ham long. Nice and brown. Cut our heat down some. Doesn't take long. This ham's already cooked, so I'm just, you know, frying it up on the stove, giving it a little, giving it a little toast. Let's throw a little bit more oil in our pan. A little bit more oil. I cut my heat down. Because once this ham starts frying, as you guys see, once it starts frying, it is frying. It is. Right in. And don't worry about the brown at the bottom. That's just the glaze from the ham at the bottom of the pan. You guys will see. Helps brown your meat anyway. And this is Gotham Steel, so. Gotham Steel cookware, guys. See, just gonna flip that over. Flip this piece over. Look at that. Look at that little. Oh, there's a little piece in there. Let me see. A little piece for me to taste right there. Let me get that. Mmm-hmm. Woo! That is good. All right. Cut the stove off. Ham's already done. All righty then. Security. 
<laughs> I'm crazy. All right. Look at that ham. Look at that ham. Let me zoom y'all in. Let me zoom y'all into that ham. Let me zoom y'all in. So y'all can really see that ham. Look at it. Look at him. Y'all know I'm still gonna zoom y'all in just because I got my little new tripod. I'm gonna still zoom y'all in. Still love y'all. I'm still gonna be showing y'all. Look, look at the ham. Y'all see the glaze? Y'all see the glaze? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, look at that. Got my stove off, so everything's all nice and cooked. Nice and cooked. Look at that. All nice and golden brown. Y'all see it? Mm. Flip it back over one more time. It's already done. Just gonna flip it over. Everything's all nicely done, nicely browned. Ooh Let that side brown a little bit more. Look at that ham. Oh, nice. Ooh Look at that. Look at that ham. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Look at that ham. Ooh wee, guys. All right, so we've got our ham all grilled and done. We've got our eggs in the back back there. Mm, eggs. Let me bring y'all out so y'all can see them eggs back there. We're going to grab those eggs. Okay, look at those. Nice golden brown eggs. Look at them. Nice. And golden brown. Our ham's done. Ham for y'all to see. Ham all nicely done. Our bacon's done. So that's it. So when I come back, guys, I'll go ahead and um, build one of the sandwiches. I'm going to build mine. The girls will build theirs. So I'll go ahead and show you guys me building mine and just throwing it in the air fryer. I'll be right back, guys. We're almost finished. Okay, guys, I am back and I'm getting ready to build my croissant. So I've already pre cut my croissant. I already pre cut it. So I'm gonna go ahead. I think I want to do. I think I'm gonna do some bacon. Make sure you guys can see. Yep, I'm gonna do some bacon. Put the, make sure you guys can see. Yep, you can see it. All right, got some bacon, and I'm gonna do. I think I'll just do the egg across like that. Um. Do my ham over here. Do another little piece of ham. Let me get my cheese. Let's see. Sprinkle some cheese on there. I love cheese. So, I don't want to over cheese it. But, alright, got our cheese on there. Let's go ahead and close this bad boy up. Close it up. And let's go ahead and take it over to our air fryer here. All right. Get you guys situated so you can see. Get it in the air fryer here. I've already got my air fryer lined up with aluminum foil. I always line my um, air fryer up with aluminum foil. I always do that. And let me go ahead and get this big hunk of a sandwich placed in there. Ooh, that looks good. Me, wheel y'all over here and show y'all. Let me put this plate down. Let's see. Get you guys so you guys can see in there. All right, hold on a second. Got to get used to this. Okay, all right, there it is. And my air fryer looking delicious. Look at that. It is ready. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get it in the air fryer. Get my ham back up there. Kind of smash it down a little bit. Get you guys over here where the action is. Air fryer. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to leave my temperature at 360. But I'm only going to put it in for two minutes. Because y'all know this air fryer gets hot. So, we're just going to put it in there for two minutes. Two minutes. That's all I'm doing it for. Two minutes. So I made my sandwich. Um, you guys saw how quick everything was. Um, let me show you guys the 
breakfast I got laid out here got everything laid out here zoom you guys back a little bit got our bacon all laid out we got our I'm bringing it in for you guys got our bacon got our eggs got our um, fried ham got everything all nicely laid out um, and it was quick and easy guys you guys saw uh, eggs about three minutes for the eggs um, the ham was about five minutes uh, the bacon in the air fryer three minutes and um, I put the sandwich in the air fryer for two minutes on 360 that's it breakfast quickly done and over with so no reason we shouldn't be fixing a little hot meal for ourselves or our kids or you know whoever you want to fix breakfast for no reason it don't take long it don't take long at all so nothing wrong with fixing the kids a nice little hot breakfast so uh, the girls are still asleep back there it's early in the morning I'm always up early so they're still asleep and you know since they're on Christmas break you know I've been letting them have a little extra sleep time I know sometimes I can seem like a uh, army uh, drill sar sergeant but you know we just want what's best for our kids so I like for them to learn things I like for them to um, get up and go and not want to lay around and sleep all day and be productive you know you reap what you sow what you put in your kids you get out most of the time because you know I don't know but I'm just leaning and depending on God to help me and well God is you know the leader but I am just praying and asking God to help continue to help me be a good mother and just doing the best that I can all right that is nice oh nice and warm look at that guy it's still soft still soft it's not hard it's hot it's a nice little little toast and that's just what you want you, you want your croissant to be let me pull this out so you guys can see let me take you guys over here so you can see this thing look at it oh look at that croissant look at it in the air fryer two minutes nice see if I can Zoom y'all in. Okay, air fryer. Zoom y'all in so y'all can see what's going on. Here you go. Y'all can see. Look at that. Nice. Nice. And you guys see it's still soft. It's hot, but see it's still soft. Just nice and nicely hot for you and everything's all melted together. Okay, y'all. That's it. That's breakfast. Done. Quick and easy. And quick and easy that's it for breakfast thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Arika misha don't forget to like comment and subscribe and once again of course as always i appreciate all your love and support and watching my videos and remember guys my saying knowledge is power